the largest military aircraft program in history made progress over the past year, but continued to generate controversy over its costs and capability. Lockheed Martin's F-35 flight test program was set to reach the halfway mark at the end of 2013, with crucial high angle of attack and guided weapons testing underway. Software remains a challenge, and on the critical path to initial operational capability for the U.S. Marine Corps in 2015, Air Force in 2016, and Navy in 2018 and 19. Costs are high but coming down, and support remains strong within the partner nations, although numbers are diminishing, the Netherlands in 2013 reducing their buy to just 37 aircraft. However, South Korea said in November it would join Israel and Japan in buying F-35s. Boeing, which was hoping Korea would buy its F-15 Silent Eagle, began testing the upgraded F-15SA for Saudi Arabia in 2013. The company also flew conformal fuel tanks on the advanced Super Hornet demonstrator, targeting the U.S. Navy and others. In Europe, Saab signed the contract to develop the Gripen E for Sweden and Switzerland. Dassault's Rafale, still without a contract in India, saw combat in Mali. Eurofighter began production of the Tranche 3 Typhoon, and Sukhoi showcased its latest Su-35S at Paris and new T-50 at Moscow's MAX show. On the transport side, Airbus military delivered the first A400M to the French Air Force, and Boeing announced it would end production of the C-17 in 2015. Embraer made progress towards a KC-390 first flight in 2014, and Italy signed a contract to convert Alania Air Maquis C-27Js to MC-27J gunships.